friends welcome back to my channel i want to this opportunity to say a big thank you to everyone who has watched my previous videos liked commented subscribed shared oh my god you guys are the real mvps thank you so much and in case you're lost as to what i'm talking about it means you've not watched my videos so kindly subscribe right now like press that subscribe button down there good now you've subscribed watch to the end of this video and go back and watch my previous videos i'm going to be putting the links for you in the description box or in the cards so that you don't have to stress yourself you know looking for the videos i'm nice like that <laughs> okay so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys five ways you can become more confident and I know these ways work 100% because they are still working for me so watch till the end because there is something I have for you at the end <laughs> you know I always have something for you guys at the end right Good. okay so let me ask you a question I want you to answer this to yourself okay do you see yourself as a confident person so did anyone say yes outrightly I mean without even thinking for a second you did Mm, thumbs up to you and then for those of us who said no or who are not even sure whether they're confident or not or who even hesitated before they said yes look it's a normal thing so you're not alone most people have been in your shoes some have proceeded to transcend from that level and have developed confidence others are still working on it so welcome to the club that's the reason why i decided to do this video you know to share with you relatable ways okay so let's get to the juice of the matter number one tip is stop comparing yourself to others stop comparing your beauty stop comparing your career stop comparing what you read in school stop comparing your friends stop com comparing your children stop comparing your family your spouse your parents stop stop comparing your life with others i'm going to talk about this over and over and over again because i've been here like i've been in this shoe of comparison and let me tell you it made me be in this constant state of mental insecurity like i didn't see myself as you know like up there i just always thought i couldn't be like the best i couldn't be first because there was always someone out there i was looking at comparing and now you know and looking at it in retrospect i would call myself a greedy person greedy because god had given me all this beauty all this strength all this talent all these wonderful people around me all these blessings and i chose not to look at them i chose not to appreciate them and all i'm looking at is someone else's blessing someone else's um um life that he or she appreciates see let me tell you everybody has one or two things they hate about themselves you can be michelle obama but you still have something you want to change the area you appreciate your life the area you own your blessings and appreciate it the better for you i'm going to be making a video on this topic because i think if one can achieve this then you've you've achieved like more than 70 percent of confidence so watch out for the video now to the second way help others there is this joy explainable feeling that you get it makes you feel relevant it boosts your confidence that oh i can actually make someone's life better you know make someone feel happy feel accomplished feel like a human being another simple way you can help people out in your everyday life ah uh, well i might not call it help but it's a way to just make others feel good is to compliment others like instead of looking at that beautiful lady as a lady instead of looking at that beautiful lady and being like oh my god look she's so pretty she has a glass figure she's slim she's everything oh i want to be like her why am i not like that if you like what you see just compliment her you'll feel good and she'll feel good and the world will just be a better place i love to compliment people a lot even though i try as much as possible to make it sensible to random strangers especially before you go and compliment somebody and the person will be like uh, are you okay if you see someone doing well in life things are working for the person you can compliment the person like oh i'm so happy for you like 
you deserve it you know just compliment instead of comparing because if you if you look at it like comparing most times leads to envy third way is to confront your fears and eat them what do i mean by that those things that hinder you or those obstacles those um internal criticisms or internal dialogue that you have with yourself those things that hinder you from you know expressing your confidence confront them get them out of the way okay for example like i go to a conference like i'm relating with my colleagues i'm relating with familiar people and then there is this lady that you know maybe she was a speaker in the conference and, and i actually like like i just like her and i want to actually approach her you know to just greet and talk with her and then i just stop in my track and i'm like hmm, like what if i go there and she ignores me you know you just start making up things to prevent you from expressing your confidence let me tell you what at that point when you are internalizing your fears and criticism because you're making this dialogue with yourself of course you're not talking out you're not speaking out <laughs> you inside your mind right acknowledge it don't beat yourself up it's normal okay it's accepted that okay i'm at this point i'm expressing fear to go and talk to this lady i'm expressing fear to do this thing i'm expressing fear to answer this question in class i'm expressing fear to take this next step set that fear at that point acknowledge to yourself that you are the one talking to yourself you're the one bringing up this fear even if for any reason someone else has said oh this lady if you go and meet her she will ignore you acknowledge that fear and say okay this is what this person said now take all those things all those dialogue all those garbage you have just screwed out take it and swallow it back hmm? take the bull by the horn walk up i meet that lady it can only go two ways the way you expected or the way you didn't expect and let me tell you it doesn't depend on which way it goes what matters is you have expressed your confidence you have taken that step so you're not you're not afraid you have defeated that fear that's the that's the price for this process it doesn't matter whether you achieved your aim or not the major thing is you have defeated that fear of taking that step just ask yourself anytime you are in such situation like what's the worst that can happen you become stronger that's the best that can happen okay so the fourth way to boost your confidence is to stay away from toxic environment toxic environment includes people that make you feel inferior people that maybe talk down on you no matter what you do no matter what you try why would you want to stay with someone who berates you makes you feel low inferior you know it's only hot people that hurt others so you don't want to stay with a hot person and this also includes uh, social media you know there's some people that you you follow and maybe every time you see their post you just feel bad or you just feel inferior not because they intentionally want to make you feel bad it could just be that at that point in time you know you can't handle that emotion that you are having and look it's normal and it's healthy for you to unfollow them not because they did anything bad and not because you did anything bad either you know you just want to preserve your sanity and have your peace of mind it doesn't make you a hater if you have gotten to this point i'm going to share a bonus tip with you at the end and that bonus tip i would say is the number one number one um tool i used to develop myself and you know develop my confidence now after you've done all these four things the fifth thing to do is practice 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 being confident you need to practice eating your fears you need to practice um to stop comparing yourself you need to practice um, removing yourself from a toxic environment you know you need to practice it if you don't practice it how would you become confident trust me it took me over 20 years to build my confidence so it's not something that you just develop overnight you, you need to 
keep at it and the truth is as you're practicing you would make mistakes you will fail you will succumb you know there are some fears that you will confront and be like i beg i cannot eat this fear it's too big it's fine it's fine for you to make mistakes it's fine for you to um fail sometimes but if you keep at it that is when you begin to win some people actually call this um how, how they call it now fake it until you make it right i think that's how they, fake it till you make it i wouldn't really use the word fake because i just feel like when you're trying to fake it you're putting so much pressure on yourself to tick all the, or check all the boxes and all that another side of practicing is um practicing uh sh like practicing a skill practice makes confident not permanent not perfect when you practice and you practice and you practice you become confident in whatever it is that you do now to the bonus tip always listen to motivational videos listen to podcasts read books listen to positive people people who are filled with positivity you no know, when you surround yourself with those things it begins to change your mindset it, it might look very easy and like oh, okay so what's there it might look very simple but if you actually do it it's a very powerful tool so i just want to emphasize this point right confidence will not come overnight don't be hard on yourself you have to accept everything that comes with the process you know and in no time you would see the beauty and you experience the bliss of being confident if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up by liking this video and if you have not subscribed up to this point it's okay it's all right no problem we all make mistakes right now correct that mistake and subscribe <laughs> right now so i want to know the ways you have used to also develop your own self-confidence put them in the comment section below i'll be reading so i really appreciate you guys thank you again for watching so until the next video it's ihoma adada signing out